Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from Absolute Soul Secrets. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here with the Vivacious Virgo Weekly Horoscope. So this is for the week uh, commencing 24th of May 2021. Okay, so it's a really big week this week. There's a lot going on and uh, we're having a lunar eclipse and uh, it's also called a flower supermoon uh, this week uh, which is in your fourth house of home and family and we're also having mercury retrograde uh, in gemini and it's in your uh, 10th house of career and reputation so i will talk more about these in a moment when we come to your horoscope but in the meantime i'm just going to uh, draw a tarot card because uh, a few people have uh, mentioned that they'd love to have a card at the beginning and uh, so I've got the card right here closing my eyes what do I see I see a zipper and it's time to zip things up so I feel like it's the end of something maybe you've been working on something or a cycle like a spiritual cycle is finishing up uh, but it's like zipping up a dress at the back and this is your identity okay because because it's a dress a clothing what you show to the outside world okay so you may even be interested in buying some new clothes. Let's pick the card now and uh, see what comes out. Uh, okay, Queen of Swords. Uh, so at the moment we're having a real theme on this blue colour and she's wearing blue. Swords are about your thinking, okay? Be cautious that you don't let your thinking uh, run away with you. Uh, you might have to uh, chop off your head, so to speak, spiritually speaking not physically of course uh, spiritually speaking if your thoughts are you know running the show because you are not your thoughts you are not your brain you're much bigger than that and uh, our thoughts are just part of us we've also got feelings we've got a physical body that we have to manage and you know treat properly and we've also uh, you know we are immortal uh, unique beings that live forever okay so there's a lot to balance here but where the problem comes is when thoughts are running the show completely and we identify with our thoughts and we think oh that must be us but it's not and sometimes we even pick up the thoughts of other people and we think they're our our thoughts so you're in the supermarket and you think oh i feel hungry but you don't really it's just the person next to you uh, so that can always happen. You'll see she's seated on a diamond and she's got a diamond at the back of her as well. This is about clarity, okay? And uh, often uh, somebody like this is usually like a lawyer or very analytical, th uh, analytical in their thinking and very logical. But we all have a human heart. We have to run our thoughts through our human heart, okay? To, you know, be empathetic. It's important. Alrighty, so let's have a look now at your horoscope for the week. Okay, so we have on the 22nd of May to the 28th of May, Mercury conjuncting Mercury, and you're likely to be more alert and mentally sharp at this time. You can speak and communicate with great clarity now and your intellectual curiosity is high. It's a good time to make plans and strategies. Better do these things now because when Mercury goes retrograde soon, it could be more difficult to communicate with such clarity. On the 26th of May, we have a lunar eclipse flower supermoon in your fourth house. Now it's a flower supermoon because it happens in May and uh, that's what, what it's called. It's a great time for transforming your home or there are changes in your family. Spend some time and attention on both now. You could feel a strong desire for privacy and seclusion. So dealing with fam family members needs to be on your terms. Have some time out uh, and be by yourself and then intersperse that with family activities. That's a good balance. If you can replenish yourself with some self-care, you will have more energy to spend time with your family. 28th to the 29th of May, Venus conjuncts Mercury 
and uh, you know you could use charm and humor and have a very friendly attitude making a favorable impression on other people you could also be feeling more creative than usual and quite arty books and poetry may appear appeal to you now and perhaps serious and demanding work should be put off uh, till another time remember that card uh, the queen of swords uh, 29th of May, Moon trines your MC. So something from the past could come back. You just might have some memories of the past. Contacting people uh, from the past or supportive friends also uh, uh, is favourable now. 29th of May, the Moon uh, in conjunct your Ascendant. Just be a little cautious. Females in your environment, maybe your mother, may interfere or demand your time. Perhaps they seem uh, unreasonable in some way. Um, you know, it is a good time to have time out um, by yourself rather than arguments. Uh, and stay in your own lane now. That's my best advice. Wait for another day. The 30th of May seen, sees the moon trining the sun. And this brings great positive feelings, harmony, smooth and comfortable relationships with other people. Your intuition and gut feelings are apt to be right on the mark. Now, we have Mercury retrograde in your 10th house on the 26th of uh, the month. And uh, so this brings delays and miscommunications, especially in your career or your general life direction. Uh, do back up all your devices now. If you have some contracts or agreements to sign, it's probably not the best time. Uh, if you can put it off, that would be favourable, more favourable. And uh, if you can't, go ahead and sign, but know that you'll have to go back and probably change something when Mercury turns direct. Okay, people from the past could also come back now. So that's your horoscope for this week, uh, Vivacious Virgos. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, please consider leaving a like and if you're new, subscribe and be alive. Hit that notification bell right now. Okay, in the meantime, enjoy this lovely music. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.